Pastor George here for My Guns and My Religion. We're out here today doing something that I've looked forward to for a very long time. We're out here at the Car Arms Facility in Greeley, Pennsylvania, where we're going to have an opportunity to check out one of my boyhood dreams. Yep, you got it. A Thompson, no joke. This is, this is true to form. This is Thompson pistol caliber carbine. 45 AC, is this the 45? 45. 45 ACP. All right, this is a genuine, honest to goodness, Tommy gun. Made here, United States. Look at that, look at the detail. Look at the detail on this work. Produced by Auto Ordnance, which is of course owned by Car Arms. The detail on this is unbelievable. The walnut, smooth, honest to goodness, true to form. And we're going to take a look at this thing running live just for you. Oh, He's nice. dead. Hey, <laughs> you killed him. I gotta say, initial initial um, thoughts on that Tommy gun. That thing is heavy. I mean, heavy like nobody's business. So the RSO here says, let's make it really heavy, and we're gonna try this thing out with a drum magazine, and we're gonna do what everybody loves. That's right, a mag dump with somebody else's ammo and somebody else's gun. There you are. Just keep it below the tree line. This is, this is serious Chicago typewriter stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness, let's see it. Yeah, just pull it in the lock. Really. There you go. I'm pretty sure you can't. Okay, listen, this is way more fun than it needs to be, okay? I got to tell you, I want to show you the target here in just a second. Now, it really was not aiming much. What is that, 30 yards? Yeah, 30 yards. Okay, this is at 30 yards, and we're throwing down 230 grain 45 ACP, all right? That's enough to ruin your day. It's, it's more than that. The quality of this gun is insane. It feels like, it feels like the first kiss of a beautiful woman. No joke. It feels like, it feels like sitting in a hot tub after going to the gym. It feels like vanilla ice cream on a hot day. It's that good. Come on, let's go look at the target. So this is down 30 yards. You guys like this walking in shot? Now that's kind of like a man-shaped thing. 
Okay, that's like a man-sized. So I'm saying even without even without really giving a good solid accurate aim on a mag dump, that's a lot of 230 grain bullets in one target, man. A lot of 230. All right, well, now we're really lucky. We're being joined by Justin Moon. Okay, he is the owner, CEO, yeah, okay. head, head guy in charge, wow. yeah, of Car Arms. Okay, yeah. uh, Pennsylvania Corporation. Yeah, okay? right here, right here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Who had me out today? He's going to teach us a little bit about that Tommy gun. What do you want to say about that gun? Hey. It's a classic. It's the Chicago typewriter. <laughs> it's a Nin classic. Made, first made in 1927, you know. It's, you know, used by the good guys and the bad guys. Bonnie and Clyde, you know, John Dillinger, the FBI. What what a story. The John Wee. Thompson. General yeah, Tom Thompson. Thompson did. General but what year was that originally designed? Uh, that was originally designed early in the 19, 1900s, almost like 19... It was, it was post-World War I, yeah. pre-World War II, and it was certainly carried by our military forces during World Woo. War II. During World War II, yeah. Uh, they had to, to Vietnam. Yeah, my understanding is they had to stop issuing the Tommy gun because it was just so well made that they couldn't make them fast enough, and they came out with the well, grease gun. the 1927 model they, they was too expensive to manufacture, so they simplified the design, and then they, that's how, where the M1 model came from the right. military simplified the 1927 okay. and then produced the m1 model in high high quantity really an awesome firearm and, it, and you're trying to keep that as close to original of course semi-automatic semi-automatic yeah. so. except for it being semi it's not they're not terribly terribly expensive for what you're getting i i, I mean it's it's all steel Ooh. machine from billets it's, yes, it's, it's, it's all steel it's it's, it's not cheap <laughs> well no what, what was what was the what's the price about, about, uh, about that one's going to be about with the drum about thirteen hundred thirteen hundred dollars but that's what you would expect to pay yeah. for a high quality american made yeah. right american made yeah, firearm and uh listen I, it has my endorsement i i may get one before I leave here today, it's, I may it's have to. I, you it's know, it, it's it's probably not your everyday gun, but it's definitely one I think you need to put in your uh, in your stable. Old so, school shooting. Old school. Old school. Old school. God bless you, brother. God I appreciate bless you. it. Thank you. <laughs>